Hello, I'm John McDonald. I'm editor and trainer for Academia for Tactus Communications. And in this session, I'm, I want to give a few tips about language errors. And some of these language errors may be due to the fact that many of you watching are non-native speakers of English. And so I would like to talk today about some common errors that as an editor, I've had to make changes to. The first mistake that many writers make is starting sentences with a number. It's important not to do this, especially when writing about research. If you finish a sentence with a number and you start the next sentence with a number, it's possible for the reader to be a bit confused and think that the previous number is just a decimal and then, there, again, it looks messy, there's confusion. And so, as an example, I can say that 150 nanometer thick indium tin oxide was deposited as a transparent current spreading layer. All right, this sentence a little bit confusing. The point is 150 nanometer thick ITO layer. There's three ways that you can change this. I can change this putting a transition on. Note that a 150 nanometer thick ITO layer was deposited. I can change that. I can put words at the beginning of the sentence. I can write, instead of saying 150 nanometer, I can write 150 nanometer. I can write the full term. Or I can put a different type of transition. I can say, in this study, comma. And so there are three different ways to overcome the fact that at the beginning, in the subject, you need a number. Mistake number two is common when people are writing a draft. And when they're writing a draft, they don't like to insert the proper symbols. And so when looking at a multiply sign, it isn't the X on the keyboard. When looking at the micro, microgram, if I say that there's 100 microgram per milliliter, micro is not a U. It's a different symbol. It's important to put the proper symbol in your paper when you submit your paper for publication. Mistake number three deals with the simple fact between, I know that there's differences between English and Korean, English and Chinese, English and Japanese. There's no spaces between numbers and units. And so when taking a look at an example, if I say the body weight of beagles ranged between 5 kilograms and 10 kilograms, there needs to be a space between the 5 space kilograms, 10 space kilograms. It's a simple thing, but when an editor, when a reviewer is reading your paper, it's something that doesn't look good. It's easy to fix. It's just noticing, but it's a mistake that people commonly make.